In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform a mundane dashboard like this one over here into something looking a lot better under 10 minutes. For this dashboard design, I'm going to be using Home Assistant. I'm going to be using a collection of custom cards called the Mushroom Cards, and you'll find them from the Home Assistant Community Store. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that video. If you're completely new to Home Assistant, then check the link in the description below for my Get Started course. Now, let's roll the intro. Now, once you get the hang of this dashboard, it should take you around five to 10 minutes, but stick to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a big shortcut to accelerate your process. And I'm actually gonna be sharing with you the entire template for free. Click three dots and edit dashboard. And then let me show you how this is actually uh, built. Now I've built two versions of this dashboard, one for iPhone or for mobile phone and one for tablet. I'm gonna show you the one with tablet now. Thing you're gonna to need to change once you've given a name is the view type and use panel one card. So we're doing this all with one card. So once you've done that, save that. And you can see we have one big edit. That's the only edit we have. Click on it. Once we're in, we're using a massive series of nested grid cards. Let's walk through it. The first line of the dashboard are all chip cards. And you can see this over here. The first one is a template chip card, and that's just some text. The second one is displaying the current weather forecast. The third one is giving me a, an easy toggle to turn all lights on and off for this specific floor. We also have motion, and also the temperature of the floor specifically. To add a chip, just click add chip and you can pick an example. So let's say a light. Once you've picked it over here, click on the pencil and then you have this other display over here where you can actually configure the uh, light chip. Once you're done, go back and then you're over here. You can reorder things by just simply move them up and down. And if you don't want them, you can just click this X button and it's gone. So that's the first row. The second row, click on number two. Now you can see there's another grid card. So the second row is giving us one grid card of two columns. And then over here, we have another grid card over here with uh, two more selections. So the way this is breaking down is, on the left-hand side, we have the master bedroom. The master bedroom has a little bit of text and this is indicated by this text over here. Now you can add a subtitle if you want. The second tab you'll find over here is a, another grid card. And in this grid card, I am actually specifying my four light bulbs, one, two, three, and four, which you can see over here. And because they're not colored light bulbs, they're just standard light bulbs, I'm only enabling the brightness mode. So if I click on it, it turns on, and I can actually drag it across uh, to change the different uh, brightness level. Now, the reason there's a layer above it is because I was trying to fit in this climate bedroom card, as you can see over here. But because this is not a uh, part of the mushroom uh, sort of uh, card set and it's the standard set, you see it's not quite aligning very well, and which is quite bothersome. So as soon as the new climate card comes in, I will try to readapt that. Uh, really what we could do also is we could try to move this climate inside the other nested grid over here. So we'll do that right now. So click to add something else over here, click on the plus button and search for my example thermostat. Click on the thermostat and we can pick the climate bedroom. So this is how it would sort of look like. Uh, to me, it's not gonna look that great. So if I save it, you've got an empty spot because you're sort of expecting something else here, uh, which is a bit lacking. So let me just delete this one over here. Another way you can get around this is to try to move this block underneath and have this uh, being more of a square. So to actually do that, so over here we have column set as two. So we to set that as one. We can see it displayed in a different way. So now this is filling up and giving me a, a vertical, vertical a series of light bulbs and we have this one over here. So this is not the one we want to actually change. So switching this back to two, it gives us this square grid card again. So the one above is the one we might want to set up like this. So we wanted to do this. The thermostat will switch underneath and the lights will fill up completely but then again, there's this little misalignment over here with the other light. So you'll play around this with a lot of time, but I'll give you the template so you could just upload it and then you can just uh, change it as you wish. So on the second tab, 
we have the second room. Uh, so this is my son's room and basically what we have over here, is he has a, uh, a lamp, a ceiling, then he has this another leaf lamp and I've also got motion or no motion in the room. That's uh, all set up in a similar way to the other one. You can see I have two columns with four different cards and I'm using, in this example, I'm using all of the new mushroom card set. And the fourth one, I'm actually using something a little bit different. The mushroom entity card, instead of using the light cards I've been using uh, for predominantly this whole dashboard. I would love you if you could smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more dashboard designs like this one. Now let's jump over to the uh, mobile phone design. So this time over here, I've set it up in a slightly different way. So it's more thinner and more vertical. I also have a little bit of a title um, and some description. But we have same, all of these little chip cards and the information is pretty much the same. It just scrolls vertically. So if you were to have this on a mobile phone, you will see this a lot better. Another example is one I have over here, which is this is done with traditional cards. So you can sort of start seeing the difference between uh, these new card sets and the traditional ones. I wanna make this super easy for you and I'll be giving away the actual code that I'm using to generate these so that you can use them as a template for free. The only thing you need to do is, you need to go to my courses platform, link in the description below, go to the dashboarding course. If you do the free preview, you should be able to find the lesson where I have this as a downloadable content and go ahead and feel free to download it and then do it whatever you want with it. If you do have anything cool that you want me to share in the next video, just email me back or comment in this video down below and let me know. If you wanna get even more information about the mushroom cards, understand all of them, and what they can actually do and what's their potential, then click this video over here. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.